Hello everyone and welcome back to the Warrior Cats Untold Tales and we are back with Apple Shadow and his two new clan mates for Apple Clan. We have Rain Pelt right over here and we have Crow who we finally have a new proper Warrior Cat name for thanks to the suggestions that you guys have left in the previous video. So now that I am back home, in fact let's do a little bit of uh, well I should probably name them first. I'm just so excited there's so much to do in Apple Clan. But now that I am back home and slowly but surely getting over this terrible cold. I apologize if I sound a little bit weird. I do still have a cold so I'm hoping it will ease up and I will be able to tell you guys all sorts of amazing adventures with our warrior cats without sounding like I'm buried under a thicket myself. But you guys left some comments last time to see what we should name Crow. I asked you guys to leave some of the stories and some of the names for your own original warrior cats, your own characters that you have made, and I used a random generator to pick from among your comments. And Lapis LPS4 is the one who managed to win the random generator. So congratulations, Lapis, Apple Shadow, and Rain Pelt have finally calmed Crow nicknamed down enough that we can give crow the new name that you have chosen so let's come on over and talk to crow really quickly and we are going to rename crow silver shard which i think is a really awesome name so this is silver shard and it is an original character of lapis lps4 he is very serious and grumpy but also very nice once he gets close to you and he has a good sense of humor he is practical but a bit clumsy and naive he used to be a wind ca clan cat but they drove him out so he was forced to move into the forest. He still loves open areas and rabbits but has adapted to the trees. Wind Clan territory will always be in his heart. So that's so interesting. So now I'm going to have to see if you guys have some theories on why Silver Shard was chased out of Wind Clan because that's, that's a pretty serious thing to happen to be chased out of your clan. Apple Shadow knows that and what I really love about Apple Shadow is that he has begun to gather up all of these neglected cats, all of the lost cats. Ooh, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Come on, climb into your little den. There we go. Now everybody can get healed because we sleep. Ah, we slept and we have a new cat. Oh my gosh, that happened so quickly. But I think Apple Shadow goes around and he understands that clan territories and clan fights and politics are sometimes just too extreme. You get one leader over here, you get a bunch of the cats telling rumors about each other over there, and the next thing you know, the weakest cat is thrust out of the clan and on their own. So I think Apple Shadow is going around collecting up those neglected kitty pets collecting up the clan cats that have been tossed out and so far his clan seems to be mostly a really nice friendly cats but what happens if one of the rogues who actually wants to try taking over apple clan maybe even just getting all of the prey yeah we have so much prey a whole mouse and a bird huh but maybe getting all of the prey that we have collected what if he runs into a really dangerous rogue how will apple shadow defend the cats who are still confused and trying to learn how to survive in the forest i think this is how Apple Shadow's story is going to progress, becoming a protector of the lost. So let's go ahead and talk to this new cat. Who are you? What are you doing showing up here? I can't even read your name. So let's go ahead and have this cat follow us for a second. This is Yaro, a black and white cat. It looks like it has a white belly, white tail tips, and white ear, or white, white ears, oh my goodness, white feet. So let's go ahead and have Yaro come back over. There we go. So Yaro is now in our clan too, you guys. Well, this is fantastic and everybody is feeling pretty good. So I think they're going to be excited and we'll have to see which one of your comments end up picking Yaro's new warrior cat name and their backstory. So I think that Apple Shadow will give everybody a moment to kind of settle down. Let's go gather up a few more thickets. Because I want to make some more or a few more brambles so we can make thickets. Oh, wonderful. Tons of bramble right here. So we'll gather this up and we'll gather this up. And thank you guys for letting me know how we can do a better hunting with our new cats. We can actually go hunting. And if you hold shift so that you're sort of in the crouching mode looking for all of the prey. Whoops. And just walking across branches scaring all of the prey away. But if you just hold shift and then hold still. Oh, no, you don't, guys. No, I see you coming for me, boulder heart. No, I'm not going to let you get me. I'm doing hunting here. Back off. Back off. Oh, geez. There's a lot of them. Run for it. Graypool came with them, too. Our former mentor. How could he? 
Oh well, at least we gathered up enough brambles on this rainy day to make a new thicket. And I'm sorry my thickets aren't perfectly lined up. I don't think Apple Shadow has very good sense of uh of direction that way. Ooh, there's another bramble. I want to go get it. All right, let's come down here. I think I'm going to actually destroy this this one. There we go. And we'll put a new thicket right here if I can. Come on, Apple Shadow. You can do it. There we go. And now we can gather all these up and we'll move the thicket I feel like we should make like a little, cause you can zip between these two levels, but I feel like we should make some sort of little maze to get in so that, or at least put a thicket like right here. Yeah, like that. So at least we're protecting where we're starting to build our own clan. This is so cool. I'm so proud of Apple Shadow, protector of the lost. And let's, let's take these apples. I guess we can go ahead and just have a gigantic pile of apples as like his little treasures of happiness. In Apple Clan, everybody smells like apples because they're always playing with apples. That would be adorable. Let me see. Oh, yes, and it's another bramble. I think today Apple Shadow is just so excited to be running from place to place, gathering up like wet sticks and things. Hey, bird. Ah, oh, dang it, it got away. Gathering up wet sticks and things. But maybe we can go, oh, there's a squirrel. Oh, I got away. Oh, let's try going and talking to our clan mates. Because apparently if we just shift, then we can convince them to do the hunting for us. So we're going to mention like, well, now that the clan is growing, we need to get more food. So let's see if we can convince everybody. All right. So we've got rain pelt there. Let's see if we can get silver shard. And then let's take uh, Yarrow, who's going to be renamed with us too. And I think if we find like a safe place, this is not a safe place to hunt. If we find like a safe place to hunt, then what happens, I need to find some prey. No prey there, no prey here. Uh, there, if I just hold still and click on the prey. Oh, Silver Shard tried to get it. That was so cool. So if I attract everybody to the prey, then they'll try to hunt it down for us. Oh, like this bird. Oh no, let's run, run everybody. No, don't fight. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so Apple Shadow, this is so cool. We can bring like our own little patrol with us and we'll, we'll try to teach them some basic forest hunting moves because a lot of these cats have probably never hunted in the forest before. So far, Silver Shard, who is from Wind Clan, is proving that he doesn't really understand forest hunting very well because he's chasing all the prey away. All right, hopefully we can get some food though. These cats need to help feed themselves. I think Apple Shadow is starting to understand the difficulty of being a clan leader for the first time. Because here's a whole bunch of cats who rely on him and depend on him. But if they can't feed themselves, if we can't... Oh, there's Ashheart. Come on, guys. We don't want to fight with them. But if we can't feed these cats, then what's going to happen to them? If they won't hunt for themselves or they can't contribute to our overall... No! Come on, guys. Run for it! I know Thunder Clan is right there, but we don't want to fight them. All right. Let's try hunting around the owl tree. But poor Apple Shadow, I think he's finally starting to realize just how difficult life is as a leader. Because if he is going to try to teach these cats how to survive, but they can't hunt any prey on their own and he doesn't have any help with prey hunting, then how is he going to feed everybody? That's a lot of pressure. Okay, here's a mouse. All right, come on, somebody get it. <gasps> yes! Yes! They got their first kill! Their first kill together! Oh, thank goodness! Alright, so let's come on over. I'm gonna scratch down some moss. You scratch moss off of trees. I've seen people asking that a lot lately. How do you get moss? You go up to a tree and you scratch at it a lot. And then eventually you'll be able to get some moss. So finally, it looked like it was Silver Shard who managed to get that kill too. And we're gonna go ahead and eat both of those mice, but we'll say that it was a, a team effort. Alright, and I think that... Apple Shadow would be nervous about crossing Thunderpath with this group because so far they don't seem very coordinated if you ask me. Oh look, there's Coco. Coco, what you doing? I forgot what we can do with you. Uh, the power to change your name. <gasps> you guys have been begging me to do this. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this. Um, we're gonna leave for now. I don't know if Apple Shadow has earned a, a name. <gasps> there's a bunny. Okay, come on Silver Shark. Ah! Oh! Yaro, you guys have no idea how to do proper hunting, do you? We have to keep the group away from all of these, all of these branches because they keep walking on the branches. But we will come back and we will change Apple Shadow's name to Apple Star, which is something you guys have all requested for quite a while. Next time we see Coco, if we have managed to make a good clan territory, we're still working on making our area look like a den after all. And run for it! Alright, there we go. 
And if we are able... Oh, 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 here's a mouse. Somebody get it. Somebody get it. Oh, Silver Shard missed it. Darn. All right. It may be easier to hunt on our own. Or maybe I just need to get my group closer to the prey. And then they can pounce on the prey. But we will make Apple Shadow into a fantastic clan leader. And we're going to do that first by building up the clan territory. So that hopefully we can have it. Oh, there's a lot of rocks over here. Let's gather up these sh smooth stones. All right. Got to get away from Thunder Clan over there. And here's another bramble. So let's pick this up. And then let's just get everybody home. <laughs> and can we go to sleep or is it not going to let them sleep? All right. So everybody back where you belong. You guys are all fine. Come on in. Come on in. We're building our own clan. Can I go? All right. We're going to go to sleep for the night because you are all extremely silly. And you're not very good at hunting, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best to try to make it so that they can survive. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, so where was I? Sorry, I, I do have a cold, you guys, so I really apologize if I keep jumping around on topics. It's really hard keeping track of that many cats and keeping them all alive at once. I'm going to do a little bit of collecting with Apple Shadow. Oh, and actually what we're going to do to make Apple Shadow Apple Star, I want to make sure we finish with the thickets, lining it along the walls here so that we can defend our clan. I want to make sure we have... Eh, at least a few more items in our prey pile and I want to try to have a mate for Apple Shadow and then once he can see the continuation in his clan the way that we're not just a random group of cats but a clan that will endure through the generations then we will take a shiny thing up to Mother Mouth, up to the Moonstone. As a rogue, we will not be accepted by the Moonstone. So if we went right now, nothing would happen. Um, we wouldn't get any experience. We wouldn't have anything special happen to us. But we would take a shiny thing as our offering, as our way to try to say to the warrior cat ancestors, please accept Apple Clan as a new clan that is inside of the forest. So once we deliver the shiny thing, Darn, I thought we were going to get that bird for sure. But once we deliver the shiny thing up to Mother Mouth at the base of the Moonstone so that we can make our offering to the ancestors, then we will say that Apple Shadow, once he has a mate and once we have finished building our little thickets, then we will say, Ooh, other than run away, run away from Thunder Clan, that he is ready to be Apple Star. He has to earn the right to be Apple Star after all. I think a cat who would just come on in and be like, yes, call me Apple Star without like a star suffix without actually earning the right to be a leader. I think that's a bad cat indeed. That's probably somebody who is not going to take good care of their clan the way they should. So Apple Shadow is not like that. He is going to make sure that he takes very good care of his little group. And we've got some food. Thank goodness. Dang it. And I, you know what? Oh, no, no. Come on. Come on. I wonder if I can drop. I wonder if what I can do is drop some of the brambles. Let's look at this. Okay. So boink right here and then come on down and then right here. <gasps> look, we made the entrance so we can make this like a little entrance path. So I know that I need to come this direction in order to continue on. <gasps> Let's grab some moss and then we can even make like a nice soft entrance into our clan with like a little moss, a little moss trail. This is so fun. I love how you can change the environment with what you are adding into the world. So you can really make it different. I wonder if Apple Shadow... Come on, come on. Where's the moss? Maybe we clawed all the, mo all the moss off that tree. Whoops, a daisy. Let's keep moving here. I don't think he even worries anymore when these novices... The, they probably show up to try to attack him because they want to feel sassy. Like, yeah, look at me. I'm trying to attack the interloper, the, the former clan traitor, which is probably how Rumor has made Apple Shadow by now in Thunder Clan. So I imagine all of the young, the young apprentices and the young novices would be really excited to prove their worth by fighting him. Where meanwhile, Apple Shadow, he's just trying to take care of a bunch of lost cats. But that's not really what matters to the clan cats. It's all about territory and defending it and being the strongest that matter to clan cats. All right, we're going to eat all of those mice. And then we're going to come along. And his smooth stone pile is definitely working. I think that was just a little experiment he started doing. And now it looks like it really may pay off. <gasps> There's another frog! Oh, I missed it. That frog is huge. It's the size of a chicken. I think that he could eat very, very well off that if we could catch more frogs. They're just gigantic. All right. You know what I think we need to do? 
I think Apple Shadow is realizing that he really needs to be able to find food better for his clan. So I think we're going to go to Tune, and one of his next projects, other than searching for a shiny thing so that we can have a mate for Apple Shadow, but one of his next projects is probably going to be trying to find, and let's see if I can find any prey before we end up in the middle of a battle, because this is a hot spot for battle zones. Jar, no prey around here. But I think we'll go over to Tune and we will get a skill so that we can try to find prey a little bit better. Because this is hard, whoop, especially when you have to run for your life half the time to get away from all of the scouts. I also think Apple Shadow is going to start fighting more of the ThunderClan cats and telling them what for. You know what, like these two novices. No, no Boulder Claw. Get out of here. All right. Birch Claw, you too. But I think Apple Shadow is learning his own strength, so he tries not to attack the novices. Uh, beyond just chasing him away and letting him know that he's not going to allow them to chase him away from what he considers his territory now. All right, let's see. Anything else? Anything else over here? No, no birds. Darn, prey is really hard to find. All right, we can go ahead and we can leave a bramble there. And then we can come on over with our little moss. Look at that! And we can make like a fun little entrance so we know exactly where to go. We could even line moss up along the bottom to make it look like a- whoops, and then walk on a stick. Oh, that alerted everybody. Alright, Storm Herb, eh? No, this is my clan! Back off, Rain Whisker. Back off! I'm warning you guys. I'm warning you. I'm warning both of you. I'm warning both of you. Whoops! Okay, gotta be gentle. That's right, Storm Herb. Get out of here, Storm Herb. It looks like you're a distant cousin of mine. Who knows? Maybe you're like Wild Nose's, Wild Nose's cousin. And Wild Nose was our dad. Come on, Stone Herb. Storm Herb, even. Alright. Oh, I killed him! No, Apple Shadow! We didn't mean to do that! Oh, no! Oh, tragedy! Oh, I wonder if Apple Shadow would just not tell them what happened. Oh, it's it's a travesty. Oh my gosh. Let's just go down and clean off the evidence on the, the riverside. Oh, that's so sad. I think that shows that some of the older ThunderClan cats have not forgiven him and are going to be that vicious and, and try to take him out. Oh, that's just terribly sad. All right. Well, at least we got a bramble, maybe? And we can, we can work on collecting up our bramble pile. But all right, you guys. So Apple Shadow is settling into being... Apple Clan, and he really is worried about prey, so I think we'll try to go get some experience and talk to Tune and get the prey finding ability next. And he's really very worried about making sure that Thunder Clan knows that this is his area now. This area down here, I mean, look, there's apples. Apples show up, so I think we may actually line apples up around some of the trees to kind of designate that Apple Shadow considers that his territory. And we might decorate a little bit more with the brambles and the moss as well. All right, so let's go ahead and eat this and then we're gonna get some good rest because apple shadow has taken a lot of damage and then i will be checking your guys comments and using a random generator to pick who is going to have a chance to have their original character a black and white cat that can be from any of the clans added in as a character in our story so remember i have no idea what will happen to your cats once you put them into this world and this can be a very dangerous world but i hope you will enjoy seeing them run around and remember i'll use a random generator each time to pick to make it as fair as possible Possible. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where Apple Shadow's story goes because I'm going to start looking for shiny things so that we can add a mate and some kits to our clan. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.